Assalamu alaikum guys welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel before go to construction site for experience so you must watch this video then go to construction site because in this video i will give you some basics for civil site engineer which can help you on construction site so let's start guys if this video is helpful for you so don't forget to like this video the topic is the basics for civil site engineer most of the diploma holders they completed dae civil diploma and they want to go for experience on construction site so they should have some basics points which i am telling you in this video so don't skip the video and watch the video from start to end to learn something new and advanced guys the first basics for civil site engineer and also if you want to go uh, for experience on construction site so remember that plaster should be measure and square meter are square feet most of the students they don't know that we can measure the quantity of plaster and square meter are in square feet but we don't measure and volume but it should be measure an area so the quantity of the plaster are the plaster should be measure in square meter are in square feet but not in cubic meter are cubic feet right or cft this is the very useful remember this point it should be measure in square meter or in square feet the second one many students they are asking from me that sir what is aci codes so guys aci first of all you should know that the acronym of aci is aci stand for american concrete institute which gave us more thing related with concrete technology so if you want to learn something new so you should follow aci codes to learn about concrete technology this is the american concrete institute and they research on the concrete technology and they will give you more knowledge about concrete so therefore you should remember and you should learn aci codes for concrete technology right this is the second one the third one also important for civil site engineer and also for the student we do some slum test for different grade of concrete and for different types of concrete so what should be the size of concrete testing cube size of concrete testing cube in which we check the compressive strength of concrete after 28 days so there we take a symbol same like this sorry like this okay so the size of the concrete cube which we are testing in compression machine after 28 days for m15 grade for m20 for m10 grade okay so the size of the cube should be 150 or 15 centimeter by 15 centimeter by 15 or 150 mm by 150 mm by 150 mm okay so the size of the concrete testing symbol should not be but it is standard not should more than or less than okay so it should be fixed which is 150 by 150 by 150 mm or 15 by 15 by 15 centimeter remember this point okay now come to the fourth point m15 grade concrete as i discussed in many videos what is grade of concrete different types of uh, grade of concrete where we can use m25 grade m20 grade so here m25 grade concrete used for the construction in all area multi-purpose concrete mix usually used for the foundation because foundation is one of the important part of the building so if the foundation is strong so the building will be safe otherwise you will face more problems so therefore especially in foundation we should use m25 grade of concrete if that is domestic building or if that is commercial but m25 grade of concrete is used for the construction in all area in multi-purpose but usually in foundation remember this point especially for students or if you are working on site as a site engineer or for experience so you should remember this point so guys now come to the fifth point there is clear cover to main reinforcement 
many students they are asking from me that sir what is the concrete cover or clear cover for beam columns slab etc so in this video you will clear your concept okay guys for footing sorry for footing concrete cover should be 50 millimeter i did mistake okay 50 millimeter is the footing for example this is footing as you can see so guys here the footing for the footing the concrete cover should be what it should be 50 mm right concrete cover then we will provide the steel bars now guys raft foundation for the raft foundation top the concrete cover should be 50 mm for bottom and sides should be 75 means side of the side and bottom of the uh, raft foundation should be concrete cover should be 75 mm and the top should be 50 mm very simple now come to the beam the beam again sorry the beam clear cover or concrete uh, concrete cover should be 25 mm so it is very important to do 25 mm and for the slab from 20 to 25 mm but 25 mm is uh, 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 very good to do it okay so for the column 40 mm concrete cover and for the staircase especially at the west or when we are using uh, steel bars and steps for riser and also for trade so the stairs clear cover should be in west and also at the riser and trade or in steps it should be not less than 15 mm right now guys come to the weight of steel bar per meter for different diameters as you know guys from where we can get uh, these weights uh, weights of steel bar so the formula is d squared divided by 162 this is the specific formula which can give you the weight in kg per meter for different dia but the dia should be n millimeter as you can see for six millimeter dia of steel bar we have 0 0.22 kg per meter with this formula you can find for the 8 mm 0 0.395 so with the help of these unit weights you can find the total quantity of steel bar easily especially it's very important and bar bending schedule okay so guys for 10 mm 0.61 kg and for 12 mm 0.88 kg for 16 0.1.57 for 20 millimeter uh, 2.466 for 25 3.853 with the help of this formula again i'm telling you okay and in 32 uh, diameter we required uh, are the weight of steel is per meter 6.313 kg and for 40 millimeter 9.865 kg but uh, tell this dia we are using at construction site so if there is more dia in the future so you can use the same formula to find the weight of steel bar now guys to other uh, very interesting topic that is grade of concrete so you should know about the grade of concrete if you don't know what is grade of concrete and different grade of concrete the link is in the description of this video or just i will tell you that m stand for the mix and five number is the compressive strength of concrete after 28 days it means if we are using m5 grade of concrete in uh, project or uh, in building construction for example for nail concrete 7.5 or m10 so it means uh, the strength of the concrete is uh, for uh, m5 so 5 newton per mm square this is the compressive strength of concrete after 28 days after 28 days as i told you for after 28 days when we are checking the uh, compressive strength of concrete so uh, the cube the testing cube uh, concrete should be uh, minimum uh, the size of the concrete testing cube should be uh, 150 mm by 150 mm by 150 mm and we put this concrete symbol in the compression machine then we can apply the load and we will check as the uh, as the compressive strength is okay or not for m5 or m7.5 etc so for if you are using if you want to achieve the strength of concrete after 28 days 5 newton per mm square so we will get the ratio that is one ratio 5 ratio 10 one is cement five part is sand and 10 part is crush for m7.5 so it means we will get the strength of concrete after 28 days 7.5 newton per mm square remember this point so it means guys uh, one is one part is cement four part is sand eight part is crush for m10 one three six so one part is cement three part is sand six part is crush for m15 one two four for m21 ratio 1.5 ratio 3 and for m25 one one two 
after m25 that is called design mix and for that we will do the specific design for a different grade of concrete more than 25 so guys this is the some basics for civil site engineer which i have discussed the front of you so if you want to go uh, to the construction side so before go to construction side you should remember these points are if you are working on construction site uh, for experience or if you don't know so you should remember these points uh, and next video i will bring the other topic related with civil engineering same like this so thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye